The Adobe Connect Closed Captioning Pod allows you to incorporate live captioning into your Adobe Connect meeting session. If you subscribe to a captioning service, you can connect directly using the Closed Captioning Pod. However, in this video, we will focus on how to assign the role of captioner to a session attendee only. To add the Closed Captioning Pod, open a new Share Pod and select Share Document. Go to the Shared Content folder and select Extra Pods. Then select Closed Captioning and click OK. Below the General Share Pod menu bar, you will find the Closed Captioning menu and options. The drop-down menu contains the Closed Captioning Pod settings. The Closed Captioning Pod opens in the Caption Viewer, with the Play controls located at the bottom. To assign an attendee as captioner, click the plus sign beside the Caption Viewer tab to create a new connection. Note that only hosts have access to these connection settings. From the Provider drop-down menu, select In Meeting Captioner, and then give the connection a name. Select an attendee from the Select User drop-down menu. Click Connect, and then select Broadcast Captions for the captions to appear to all attendees. The assigned captioner, however, will always see the captions that they are entering. Attendees must be logged into the session to be assigned as a captioner. The closed captioning pod is not supported in mobile devices, so be sure your assigned captioner is attending from a desktop or laptop computer. Click on the Caption Viewer tab. If you want to save captions into a transcript file, then you must have Record Transcript selected from the Closed Captioning Pod Options drop-down menu and be broadcasting captions. By default, participants are able to save recorded transcript files. If you do not want them to, then select Disable Transcript Save for All from the Closed Captioning Pod drop-down menu. Resize the Closed Captioning Pod and place it where you would like it to display in the layout. Then load your meeting content and begin your session. Remember to record the meeting if you want to have a session playback available. As you speak, the captioner enters text in the area at the top of their caption pod, and when they click send or press enter on their keyboard, the text will appear in all attendees' caption viewers. The parts of speech are categories that we can put our words into. So all of our words can fit into one of the parts of speech, and Knowing them will help you understand how each word is working in a sentence. Attendees can individually select from five display color and contrast options, select a preferred font size, create more space by hiding the closed captioning pod menu, and they can elect to not display the captions at all. Note, however, that they do not have the ability to hide or move the pod, as only the hosts are able to do that. To save a recorded transcript to your computer, select Save Transcript As from the Closed Captioning Pod drop-down menu. You can choose to save the file in either HTML or text format. If you are recording your meeting for playback purposes only, assign yourself as captioner, broadcast your captions, and then record your session. Captions that you add in the closed captioning pod will appear in the recording. And on playback, viewers will still be able to adjust the closed captioning pod viewing settings to their preferences. For more information about Adobe Connect Meeting and to see additional resources, please visit the host resource page at eclassesconnect.contactnorth.ca/help. For technical assistance, call the Contact North Help Desk. Monday to Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. at 1-888-850-4628.